stop. I know it's tempting, but before you restart, make sure you watch this video. Hey everyone, it's Kato. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about restarting before the update and why I think you shouldn't do it, or if you do it, you should do it sooner rather than later. So if you're interested in content like this and you wanna see more in the future, I'd appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell if you wanna be notified every time that I post, but let's get right into it. So with the new update coming out, I know it is so tempting to want to restart. We all wanna get rid of our islands. Trust me, I've even posted my own memes about it. I've also done a previous video on whether you should flatten or restart just in general, and there are definitely pros and cons to each. However, before this update, I wanna go through why I think it's not the best idea right now to restart your island. First things first is getting your island to three stars. You can definitely speed up the process if you know exactly how to get your island to three stars. I also have a video on that if you're having trouble. And I'm assuming most things you will be able to do even if your island isn't at three stars. But I think just to make sure, and so you'll know everything will be available on November 5th, I would go ahead and try to get your island to three stars right now. The second thing you wanna consider is you're probably gonna to wanna to have your museum upgraded. You need to have it upgraded all the way so you have the art exhibit. That way the roost will show up at the top of the stairs and you'll be good to go to go visit Brewster and get yourself a cup of coffee with your friends. Collecting a bunch of bugs and fish and art can be time consuming. So that is something to consider before the update drops. Number three, you're gonna wanna have quite a bit of bells because there are several things that are going to cost bells in this update. So obviously going to Harv's Island, you have to pay off all of the gyroids so you can have the other NPCs show up over there. That's gonna be one of the first things that I go and do because I wanna go and see them. I'm so excited about Harv's Island. You will also need bells to upgrade your house, to upgrade your storage. If you wanna customize any of your Nook Mile items with Cyrus over on Harv's Island, you will need bells for that. There will be new DIYs available at Nook's Cranny that you're gonna to wanna to buy, new furniture, all kinds of stuff. So make sure you're saving up your bells now. Number four, and this is probably the most difficult to obtain and the most time consuming is your Nook Miles. Now you're gonna need Nook Miles for a lot of things with the new update. If you want to go on a ride with Cap'n, every ride costs a thousand Nook Miles. So depending on how many different islands you want to visit, you need to keep that in mind. But also, if you want to get all of the new apps and licenses, the new hairstyles, all of that stuff, you're going to need 18,200 Nook Miles. Then on top of that, you're also going to need Nook Miles to get the new Nook Mile items as well. So that is a lot of Nook Miles to save up, especially if you're someone who frequently villager hunts and you've been using your Nook Miles all this time. So get in there, make sure you have your Nook Miles Plus app going. Go ahead and start saving up your miles. There's going to be so much stuff to use Nook Miles for. And the last thing on my list, number five, in my opinion, you're gonna wanna have a ton of stuff already cataloged. I think we're all very excited about all the new items coming to the game, but you're definitely gonna wanna use existing items as well to go along with it. So if you were to restart right now, you're gonna have to go through and catalog all that stuff, get all of your DIY recipes again. It's just a whole long process. I really think this update is kind of an immediate cure for anyone who is feeling burned out. And prior to this update being announced, I think restarting was a good cure for burnout. In general, I can see the benefits of both restarting and flattening your island if that's something that you wanna do. But in this moment in time, I really think that if you're unhappy with your island theme or if you just wanna start fresh, I would work on flattening your island. That way you can keep your whole catalog, you'll have all of your Nook Miles, your museum is already upgraded, you won't have to worry about any of that stuff, 
and you can just really enjoy the update and the DLC to the fullest. I would love to know what you all think about this down in the comments below. Have you decided to restart before the update? Are you flattening? Are you doing anything to prepare? Definitely let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.